Hello my friends, how are you doing? Stable Diffusion 3 Medium is out. I'm going to show you how to download it, update everything, run it on your computer. Let's get started. And here you have some fun images that have been rendered with Stable Diffusion 3. Also, I want to point out that all of these images are first row and the prompts are not improved. So I will do a testing and show you the results in my video tomorrow also give you advice on how to get better quality images. So the first thing you need to do, of course, is to go to Hugging Face. I have the link below my video and there you have to sign a license. This is a free license. Don't worry about that. You just have to sign them with your name and email. This is for non-commercial use. You can also use it commercially, but if you want to do that, you have to reach out to Stability to get a commercial use license. So after you've signed that, you have to go here to files and version. Click on that and scroll down a little bit. You see here multiple different versions. Now, here is the important part. This first model is called SD3 Medium Safe Tensor, and you would think that is what you need. But this model does not include the text encoder. So I would suggest to you that you use the SD3 Medium, including clip safe tensor file, which is around six gigabytes. And then you have also one that includes clip and T5 XXL FP8. This is around 11 gigabyte, probably a little bit big, but you can try if you can run that. I have downloaded the six gigabyte version. You want to download that either into your models folder for automatic 11.11 or for ComfUI. I have linked my ComfUI to the automatic 11.11 models folder. So for me, I've downloaded into the automatic 11.11 models folder. Although I'm going to show you how to use this in ComfUI because of course, as always, ComfUI gets the cool stuff first. You will also realize when you look at the top, there is a folder that's called ComfUI Example Workflows. You can click on that and you will see in here you have multiple different workflows, a basic workflow, a multi-prompt workflow, and then also an upscaling workflow. You can download all of them and try them out inside of ComfUI. And also below the models, you will find a SD3 demo prompts TXT. If you're interested in that, you can click. This is going to open up this text where you have multiple different prompts that you can try out to test the model on your computer. Now let's talk about how to set everything up. This is running in ComfUI and you can run ComfUI just normally as you would do. When you get inside of ComfUI, you have to update ComfUI first. Otherwise, you cannot use the model. So for that, you could either go to the manager over here. That, of course, is an external extension for that. So you have to have the ComfUI manager. And in there, you have update all, which is going to update ComfUI. And it's also going to update all of the custom nodes inside of ComfUI and then restart ComfUI. However, this broke the Torch CUDA model for me, so I couldn't start ComfUI after that. If that happens to you, what you want to do is to go into the ComfUI Windows Portable folder and in there click on the Update folder and in there you will find the file Update ComfUI and Python Dependencies. Double click on that run that. This is going to download all of the files you need and should fix your ComfUI so that you can run that. After all of this is done, you can start loading the workflows. Now here I have another link for you. This is by Comfy Anonymous. He is the developer of ComfUI and here he has two different workflows. As you can see here, one is for the medium, including clip safe tensor model and the other one is for the including clip and T5 XXL FP8 models. To load these workflows, what you need to do is to download these images here and then simply drag them into the ComfUI canvas. And this is actually the workflow from the upper image. The only thing I changed for this is that I replaced this here for the empty latent so I can set the empty latent size myself. That works 
perfectly. And then as you can see, this is just a very simple text to image workflow. Over here, you want to load the checkpoint. In my case, SD3 medium, including clip safe tensor. You write your prompt and negative prompt if you want to. Over here, you have already set up all of the settings for you. You can test out the different other settings, but these are the settings basically suggested by Comfy Anonymous for that using the SGM uniform scheduler with 30 steps with a CFG value of 5.5 and the Euler sampler. My prompt for this image is cat holding a sign with the text, I love you. And funny enough, this actually turned into the I love you with a heart in the middle, which is interesting because it is a creative decision by the model, but still understands what I want to do in the text. So that is pretty amazing. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like that and see you soon. Bye, my friends.